Let us start with a practice question number six. This is your IGCSE past paper question and this particular question is on the topic of transformers. So right now we are practicing questions on the chapter electromagnetism. Right. So if you want you can pause the screen, solve the question and come back to verify your working. This is a long question. It spreads across two sheets as you see here. So let us start from the beginning of this question. The transformer in this figure is used to convert 240 volts to 6 volts AC. So let us write down the information. How much is the voltage in the primary? The voltage in the primary is 240 volts and in the secondary it is 6 volts. Use the information above to calculate the number of turns in the secondary coil. So is the number of turns in the primary given? Yes, you are given. So use the transformer equation which is V1 over V2 is equal to N1 over N2. What do you have to find? You have to find N2. So N2 will be equal to N put the values 240 comes here and six. Am I doing it correct? Let us verify N2 would be N1 over V1. Yes. So this should give you your answer as it will go two times 12 turns. Let us verify the answer with the mark scheme. Yes, it also says 12 turns. All right, it is a two mark question. So it's a good idea that you give the formula as well. Show your working and then arrive at the answer to gain full two marks. Let us come to the second part of the question. Describe how the transformer works. Now this is a kind of a question which we have already discussed. Three mark question, they are looking for three main key terms. So what do you say? You start with saying that the alternating current in the primary, what do you say? Alternating current in the primary primary what? primary coil induces an alternating alternating magnetic field So alternating current which is flowing in the primary here it produces an alternating magnetic field in this whole region in this whole region as a result alternating EMF is induced in the secondary what do you say next as a result an alternating EMF is induced in the secondary coil. All these things are very beautifully and very comprehensively discussed in our topic video of transformers. How this question is answered, please go through that video to understand it very well. All right. So that's how this question is answered. Let us come to the third part. Third part, the last part. 
on the screen state one way in which the energy is lost from the transformer and from which part it is lost so one of the ways in which the energy is lost you can say always is heat right energy lost as heat from the wires of the transformer simple and easy all right so that completes your part one of this question let us come come to the part two this is the same question which continues it's a long question 10 mark question in total so on so now the b part says the figure here shows a device labeled igcsc transformer so that's a transformer named igcsc study the label on the case of the igcsc transformer and then answer these questions the first part, what is the output of the device? Study the label. What is the output? A three, a 230 volts AC is the input and the output is 120 volts DC. DC is the output, the input which is going is your AC, output which is coming is your DC. Now let us come to the next part. From the information on the case, deduce what other electrical component must be included within the case of the IGCSC transformer apart from the transformer because the AC is changing into DC what other co component would be there inside this transformer box AC is converted to DC by what device we have been doing it again and again diode so if you go through all the IGCSE questions that we have been practicing so far, the questions become repetitive. The more and more you solve the past paper questions, higher is your likelihood of scoring much, much better in your final examination. So if you see most of the questions that we are now solving, it's a repetition of what we have already done. So that's why practicing question how the mark scheme works how the marking was work if you have an understanding of it you'll score very well in your IGCSC exam so let us come to the C part which is a two mark question a transformer supplying electrical energy to a factory changes one 11,000 AC volts to 4400 to 4400 AC volts for the use in the factory. Sorry, not 4400, 440 volts AC for the use in the factory. The current in the secondary is also given to you, 200 amperes. Calculate the current in the primary coil, assuming no loss from the transformer. So here there is another equation that we have learned in transformer because there is no power loss. So power in the primary, power, in the primary should be equal to power in the secondary so how much will be the power in the primary what is the formula of power v times i or the voltage across the primary multiplied by the current across the primary it should be equal to the power in the secondary which is vi the voltage in the secondary and the current in the secondary what do we have to calculate we have to calculate the current in the primary input the values so how much is vs voltage across the secondary 440 current in the secondary 200 over voltage in the primary 11000 so that's easy to work 11 4 times so 4 to the 8 amperes easy and a quick question to solve it's a two mark question so always a good idea that you write the formulas as well so that you do not lose all the two marks if your final answer comes wrong even if your final answer comes wrong but if you have given the formulas correctly if you will not score zero you'll, you'll have a chance of scoring at least one mark in this question so let us look at the mark scheme now yes we are correct let us tally all our previous answers as well. Everything is correct. All right. 
So that's your question number six.